Destination elopements can be so stressful if you don't know what to pack. And today we are going over my top 10 miscellaneous items that I bring to every single elopement and that you should pack to for your next adventure. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one space for new photographers, entrepreneurs, and couples who are looking to elope. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria with Maria Thill Photography. I'm a professional destination elopement photographer and business educator based in Maui and Austin. But I also travel the globe capturing the sweetest destination elopements in some of the most epic locations. I put together the list of the top 10 things that I bring that anybody could pack on their next destination elopement. So the first thing that I think is the most important thing is pack band-aids and a very small first aid kit. And in your first aid kit, you'll most likely have things like hydrogen peroxide or, or Neosporin and band-aids. I often find the best first aid kits at places like Target or REI or anywhere like CVS and Walgreens. They have really compact ones that fit perfectly in your backpack and they're great for when you're going on little mini one day adventures. The number two most important thing that I pack is this bad boy. And the number reason why I like to pack Excedrin and not Advil is because, or, or something like Tylenol, is because um, Excedrin has, a, it's acetaminophen, but it also has caffeine in it, which is really important for me because if I don't have enough caffeine within one day, I get these really awful migraines. So Excedrin really helps me. You may have your, your favorite brand that you'd like to bring, but this is what I would consider an essential um, in the event that you get a headache and it's just absolutely miserable and you don't want to hike anymore, this will totally save your butt within a matter of minutes. So definitely pick one of these up at your local Target or um, I'm going to put links to everything down below if you're an Amazon person and you'd prefer for it to just be delivered straight to your door. And the number three thing that I like to pack in all of my packs is... Benadryl and I keep this in my purse because I personally have allergic reactions to really weird things that I just don't even know What they are. I know I'm allergic to octopus, but beyond that I've had allergic reactions to other types of shellfish and Just random things like pollen in the air. So I keep this in my purse um, But I would recommend keeping it in your backpack or just in your kind of emergency little kit for the day of don't mind Takito, he's just making his way. Anyway, so pack some non-drowsy Benadryl or some sort of antihistamine because it can really save you in your if you're in a pinch and you get something like a bee sting and you're allergic to bees. Okay, and number four, this has saved me so many times. So I really recommend that you guys get something like a small dry bag and what this allows is so if you're hiking and it starts to rain and let's say you have something super valuable that cannot get wet like your camera or your SD cards or something along those lines, um, this will totally save you in a pinch. And basically you just put all your valuables in here and then you roll it up, clip it, and then it becomes waterproof. Make sure you make an investment in a brand that has a good reputation and that will last you a long time. Don't just get some cheapy one on Amazon because if you're really putting something valuable in here, you want it to stay dry. I like to just be prepared for anything, so I always pack a puffer and a raincoat and they have definitely come in handy in some of the colder locations that I shoot, like Haleakala. It can be so cold up there and the weather changes so rapidly. So just be prepared for anything, especially with national park adventure elopements. Okay, and number five, this has come in handy for everything, including weddings and elopements, and it's just a simple pair of scissors. Pack these with you. These ones are a little large. I would recommend getting like the little kitty ones that you can find at like Target. Um, and this is just for like, you know, I've had things like a a bride has a little dangly thing hanging off of her dress, she needs some scissors, or a tag that was left on that needs to be cut off and you don't wanna like rip it off and potentially damage something. So scissors are a great thing to pack. If scissors are too big and bulky for you, I would recommend just getting something like this. It's like a little cuticle clipper or even a nail clipper. These come in really handy when you're in a pinch 
and you don't have um, some scissors or something like that. And I think you can travel with these through the airport as well. I don't know about scissors, but I normally keep these in my carry-on. So this is something I would definitely invest in and then just keep it in your bag. They're like a couple bucks. Okay, and number six, I'm sure all you photographers saw this one coming, but this is really just for anybody and it's a microfiber cloth. If you wear glasses like me, this is the most important thing to pack simply because if it does start to rain or your glasses get foggy and you want to wipe them off on your shirt and then it just ends up smearing it all around, that is the absolute worst thing in the world when you're hiking. So pack a microfiber cloth. They're super small, very convenient. They can fit anywhere. Um, and this is not only important for glasses, but it's important for lenses. So make sure you pack one. Okay, and number seven, this is something that all of you probably have at home, and it is as simple as just pack some chapstick or some lip gloss to keep your lips moisturized just in case it's a little extra dry out there. I know that personally when I'm hiking, if my lips are dry and kind of cracking, um, it's really uncomfortable and it's very distracting. So this is very small, compact and lightweight. Throw it in your bag and you won't be sorry. Okay, and number eight, I don't have any with me, but I would highly recommend picking up some of those like really simple like Neutrogena, Neutrogena um, makeup wipes in the event that you do get some weather and let's say it rains and your makeup starts to smear or something, you can just lightly touch up with one of those washcloths. Or in the example of doing like a waterfall trash the dress, your mascara may start to bleed a little bit at the end of jumping into the water. So I would recommend just packing some makeup remover wipes and that way you can kind of wipe off as you go and that your photos aren't ruined for the rest of the day. Plus, if you're doing some sort of overnight multi-day backpacking adventure elopement, which sounds epic, you're gonna wanna be able to take your makeup off at the end of the day anyway, and those are so lightweight. Since we always follow the rule of pack out what you pack in, these are perfect for throwing away back into your bag and not causing a lot of weight. Okay, and number 10, this is for single day elopements. If you're doing a multi-day, it's pretty obvious but this is very, very important for all of you that get hangry out there. Make sure you're packing tons of snacks and water. Water is the most important thing. We wanna make sure that you're hydrated throughout your entire day. This is relating to weddings or elopements. Make sure you're drinking water throughout the day. It's the number one thing that I find most of my couples tend to forget is to continue to hydrate all day long. What I like to do, I'm gonna show you really quick, so if you can't tell already, I am an Osprey girl. This one is just my day bag. So it's top opening. And right now I have my climbing gear in here, but um, normally for just like a really simple day trip, I'll pack, you know, my, all the things that we just went over, my jackets. Um, typically my gear is in a different bag. Um, I'll wear this one on the front, which is like, my miscellaneous items and then my actual gear goes on my back and then it also has like this little top compartment as well and i just keep like really important things in here that i need to access immediately um but right here in the back this is what i love about ospreys it actually has a water reservoir um like pouch so this is the water reservoir it's a little low right now but um you just fill this up with water and this is a 2.5 liter. So this would be enough for just me in one day. I drink a lot of water, especially for elopements and adventure elopements. So that just goes right back in here. And then it has the tube and it comes out and you know, you just take a sip of water. Okay, and you guys may be wondering what type of snacks I pack. So things like Cliff Bars that are high calories, lots of sugar in them are great for hiking um, or for adventure elopements because they're going to give you some energy that will last you a while because it's got lots of carbs, lots of sugar. Um, and you know, things like trail mix are great as well. But whenever I'm packing snacks for hikes, I'm thinking more about like what's gonna give me the biggest burst of energy so I really like these um, organic fruit roll-ups from Target and they're just like I think they're called fruit leathers and they're great because 
if I'm feeling tired or something like that, I just eat it while we're hiking. It gives me almost immediate energy because it's so, it's so high in sugar that it's just like, bam, energy. Anyway, um, if you want some more recommendations on snacks that I like to bring, leave a comment down below and I can link you some on Amazon that I buy all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are planning a destination elopement and want a little more insight as to how to get from step one to completely booking your elopement and planning something, I've created a full guide all about how to plan your adventure elopement, where to start, where to end, how to research certain things. It's all in this guide and I'm putting the link down below. So make sure you download it. And if you're still looking for a photographer, you can also opt in to inquire at the same time. Now, whether you're a photographer or a couple who's just looking to plan their destination elopement, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know. And while you're here, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified every single week when I make new videos all about eloping. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye.